It seems Insta360 are just refusing to stand still at the moment with several new releases updating their already solid lineup. If you're looking to add GPS overlay data to your captured video footage though, then Insta360 have you covered with this, the GPS Action Remote. There's no doubt Insta360 are on a winning streak at the moment with various cameras in its rather strong lineup. And while I'll admit it's a shame we don't have GPS built directly into the Insta360 cameras, this remote aims to fix that with some additional handy tricks up its sleeve. With a plastic overall construction and compatible with the Insta360 ONE R, the ONE RS, and the latest 360 camera, the X3, the Action Remote is relatively small and lightweight. Certainly not as tiny as the DJI Action 2 remote, which is almost too small to comfortably use, but more along the lines of the GoPro remote. Saying that, this Action Remote isn't as grippy in the hand either, slightly slippery in fact, which may be an issue if handheld, although it is designed to be attached to yourself or two objects, which we'll come back to shortly. Anyways, on the face, just beneath a small status LED, we find a nice, well-sized monochrome display screen, which is backlit too, alongside a well-sized shutter button, large enough to be pressed even with gloved hands. Staying with buttons, we find a further two on the left side, a mode and a power button to be precise, all carrying a nice tactile click when pressed. Otherwise, there's not really much more to see. On the bottom, we have a rubber flap that can be opened to reveal a USB-C port used alongside the included cable to charge the built-in 485 milliamp battery. With that flap securely closed, the entire unit is waterproof, down to 16 feet in fact, which is an added bonus for those into capturing their water sport activities. Overall, it's a pretty neat design, well-sized, comfortable to hold, albeit not very grippy. Saying that, when it comes to mounting, the new remote comes with two mounting bands. The shorter of the two being for attaching the remote to selfie poles, handlebars and other such objects. If you'd prefer to have it on you at all times though, the wrist mount option will have you ready to shoot anything. Whichever you choose, the strap feeds through the gap in the rear of the remote before securing to your object or to your person. Nice and easy. To make things even easier, the mount rotates and clicks in 90 degree increments, ensuring the unit is in the correct orientation irrespective of what or where it's attached. Nevertheless, thanks to the integrated Bluetooth 5 connectivity, which is power efficient too, connecting and controlling your camera, or up to four cameras simultaneously for that matter, is a relatively straightforward affair. With the camera powered and updated to the most recent firmware, navigate into settings, before selecting the Bluetooth remote option. Now over to the remote, where pressing the side power button for a few seconds will power up the unit, after which we can hit the shutter button to select, or the mode button to move between the four options on display. So we select pair camera, select the camera to be paired, and instantly the units are paired and ready to be used. Once connected, we receive some status icons across the top, including both remote and camera battery status, while the buttons on the remote replicate those on the camera, although from a distance of up to 20 meters. And note that we can't actually control all camera options from the remote itself, so the mode button can be used to cycle between the different camera shooting modes, while the shutter button can be used to select the mode and make it active, while also starting and stopping capture or taking an image, depending upon the current active mode of course. It's all pretty instantaneous too. At this point you'll want to head back into the camera settings in order to toggle the Bluetooth wake up option. By doing this, not only can we now power off the camera by pressing the power button on the side of the remote for three seconds, while keeping the same power button pressed for six seconds will power down the remote too, we can also power up the camera using the remote as well. So with the remote powered, we tap the power button again to wake the camera and then reconnect. A nice and convenient option, especially handy when saving camera battery life. Anyways, the most notable of upgrades is the GPS overhaul, utilizing GPS, BD and GLONASS networks, which should do well to enhance the accuracy and connection speed of the remote. For this to work best, you'll want to be outside in an open environment with a direct line of sight to the sky. Once you have a few satellites locked on though, you're ready to shoot. 
So at this stage, we can use the camera as normal, capturing your activities while the GPS information is being fed into the camera and recorded alongside the captured video file. Throughout testing, I've had no issues with the remote at all. Connection remains stable and it's completely reliable every time. Now excuse the video quality due to the overcast conditions here, and bear in mind my fitness levels are a little lacking too, but whether you're into skiing in the Alps, road tripping across the states, or bike packing on a remote trail, you'll now be able to overlay key stats on your videos including speed, elevation, a route map, gradients and plenty more. Importing your footage and adding the overlays is intuitive, simple and straightforward, very much in line with the overall philosophy of the Insta360 ecosystem, and help to add to the finish of a video, making it even more engaging and entertaining to watch. If editing within the app, it's a single tap on the now available stats menu, in which we have a preview of the clip and can add any of the available options including speed, elevation, distance, a map of the route and so on, all to tailor and customise the data overlaid on the video. Of course we can play and preview the video too, before then exporting as you wish. It's just as easy when editing within the desktop studio software too, which is my personal preference. Again we have a stats menu on the right side alongside other standard video options, where we can add all of the available gauges and options as we did with the smartphone app. Although here we can also now open some advanced options in order to customise further, such as changing colours and setting the opacity, as well as changing the units of measurement and also adding or removing the vignetting on the edges of the video playback. All handy stuff and super easy to accomplish. Of course you're then ready to trim, make any other changes such as switch the field of view, before exporting the video as normal. Although I would have preferred a more grippy external finish, the design itself works perfectly well. It's not overly small like the DJI Action 2 remote, and it's not too bulky to deal with either. Mounting can be a bit of a chore with just the two strap options being available, and use is limited to only switching between shooting modes as well as starting and stopping capture. But nevertheless, the main benefit of this unit is that GPS data, which not only works perfectly well, once it has some satellites locked on of course, but resulting in video projects that are more engaging and more entertaining to watch thanks to all that extra data around the screen. If you have one of the more recent Insta360 cameras, the GPS Action Remote complements the camera nicely. In fact, this has really become my go-to setup using the 4K boost lens for faster action and the 1 inch lens for slower, more cinematic shots, or during lower light scenarios. Couple these with the GPS Action Remote and you have a winning combination.